hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when your playstation controller is detected as xbox controller so in lots of the fallen game if your ps5 or ps4 controller is detected as xbox controller and it shows xbox prompts then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your computer do not ignore this step just restart your computer once and after the system restart try to launch the game and then check now the next step is to switch out of full screen so if it is set to full screen you can switch to window full screen borderless and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you so you can try this so go to settings over here and here you can see under display window mode now if this is set to full screen you can switch to window full screen over here then apply the settings and then check if the controller is not working still the controller is not working you can quit and then launch the game once again and then check now the next step is to close steam and turn off your controller now this has also worked for many players so you, you you can try this so first of all exit steam so on steam click on steam over here and then click on exit now once you close steam turn off your controller and then connect your controller using the usb cable so using the usb cable you can use the wired connection and then launch steam now you open steam and then disable steam input now once you launch the steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the controller tab and then select disable steam input now once you disable steam input start the game in big picture mode so on the top right here you can see big picture mode icon click on it Let me open Steam once again. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, uh, now you can launch the game and then check the control. Now it should show uh, you the PlayStation prompts. Now the next step is to disable Steam input and then restart the game. If the game is running, close the game and then make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then disable Steam input and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable Steam input in Steam controller settings. So go to Steam and then click on settings, go to the controller tab and then disable all the Steam input over here. So make sure all are disabled over here now launch the game and then check next step is to disable steam input uh, in game make a right click then select properties controller disable steam input and then once this is disabled now go to steam controller settings and enable the now go to steam now click on settings now go to controller tab and now you can if you have xbox if you have playstation uh, not the xbox playstation controller now turn on enable steam input for playstation controller now check still you're facing the problem then make sure that you disconnect other peripherals such as mouse and keyboard you can launch the game and till the time uh, when you see the all the menus once the game is up and running uh, you can connect the controller so then you can disconnect the controller so you can launch the game using the mouse and keyboard and uh, once uh, the game is up and running now you can disconnect mouse and keyboard if you can and then now you can connect the controller and then check so if you can you can disable if you are able to then you can disable mouse and keyboard and then check if you have additional sometimes you have additional controller connected to the computer disconnected also if you have uh, vr uh, devices or windows mixed reality headset or any other usb uh, devices which are not using like pedals steering wheels and all that so disconnect all the additional usb adapter or any additional external devices connected to the computer and then launch the game and then check the controller also disconnect if you have any kind of virtual controller connected you can disable it or uninstall them so do this and then check now the next step is to 
now this is for epic games launcher uh, user you can add the game to steam so over here click on add a game then click on add a non steam game and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed you can go to the game installation folder if you see the game over here you can put a check and then click on add selected program if you don't see the game over here click on browse and in it may be in program files if you have installed the game from epic games launcher uh, you might find it the game folder in program files or program files x86 go to epic games folder and go to the game installation folder and then you can once uh, you add the game over here you have to put a check on the box this is just an example and then click on add selected program so select the game exe file then click on add selected program once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to use ds4 windows now this has worked for many players so you can try this uh, you can use this software so you can use ds4 windows and then check if it's working or not the next step is to disable steam overlay uh, and close all the overlay applications so make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game and then check also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord or geforce experience or any other overlay application running close it next step is to go to steam controller settings and enable generic controller sometimes this works so you can go to settings and then go to controller and then you can try enable steam input for general generic controllers so you can try this if that does not work you can turn this off so you can try this now the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode and then launch the game which we have already done so you can click on this big picture mode icon and then once you are in big picture mode launch the game and then check the controller the last step is to use wired controller so if nothing is working you can connect your playstation controller using the usb cable and then launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the issue with the controller so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel